Hey, it's David Ward from Musicians on the Record. I am hanging out with Wally and Ray, Walfredo Reyes Jr. and Ray Islas. Ray, am I pronouncing that right? Yes, you are. All right. Well, you are more than welcome. Thank you, guys. We are at the beautiful Cross. I'm going to do a shot of the, the venue, guys. The Cross Insurance Arena in Portland, Maine. Currently full of empty seats. Full of empty seats. We are live. And uh, say hello to Wally and Ray, wherever you guys are in the world. Man, thank you so much for being on the show. Really appreciate it. Thank you for doing your drumming and just coming to Maine. We appreciate it. So tell us a little bit about your kit. You just did some amazing playing, and we were talking about tuning. And also one of the most important guys in the show tonight, John Blum. Yeah. Yes, he is the drum tech and percussion tech. And then some. And then some. And a hell of a coffee maker. Oh, even yeah. better then. Thank you, John, for your yeah. service. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Well, Wally, tell us about this amazing, beautiful kit you have here, and then we'll talk about Ray's percussion setup and then the tuning. So, yes. do you want to take this? Sure. Well, this is a fairly new. I think a few months ago, um, my maple kit. It's in my home now, and this is a beautiful, what I call, sea land finish uh, Mapa Burl DW collector's kit with um, color tone Remo heads, which is basically color tones are an emperor head, and Sabian cymbals, LP cowbell, and Roland octopad behind me. So I have two snares, one for ballads for, from the 80s, and the high ones, so I can actually play a lot of different jazzy R&B kind of things. And then we were talking before, usually my experience by, with playing with a lot of percussionists is like I actually make sure that I tune the drum set and not the same tonalities and vice versa of the percussion because that way we can actually create a big scale from bass drum, low notes, you know, boom. And then so on. So you don't have the same tonalities on the percussion than you have on the drum set. And John is a piano tuner, used to play, uh, used to be a guitar tech for George Benson on guitar. So he definitely knows tuning. So he tunes my drums. We don't sound check. So uh, this is unusual for us. We arrive right on the spot to do the downbeat and do the show and get on the bus. So I'm glad we came early to do this. And I'm going to hand the mic over to... Oh, th th yeah, this is um, a Black Beauty uh, nickel over brass. DW, right? Yeah, DW, and it was engraved by, uh, by John Aldrich, which is drum tech of REO Speed Wagon, but he's the master engraver. So around here it says the word Chicago and what Fredo Reyes Jr. But aside from the engraving, it's, uh, I can actually tune the snare drum really low and really high. It doesn't matter. It's just like amazing. And then this one is the one from the set. So I'm having a great time here with these instruments and the Chicago music and classic songs. And this is Ray Islas. You can yeah. hop in here. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear for Wally Reyes Jr. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Coming to a theater near you. How's it going, everybody? Okay, so Wally said everything correctly and properly about tuning, which... Uh, it's very true, the tuning of the instruments, and, you know, they complement each other. So uh, let me talk to you a little bit about my setup. All right, obviously we have timbales here with three bells, three different tones. You know, works great on all the Chicago tunes and different styles of music. Another thing important are tambourines, mountable tambourines. Uh, that way I can play a bell and a tambourine at the same time or play a conga and a tambourine at the same time. On sections of tunes, not not throughout the whole song, not throughout the whole song, just on, like, say, let's say the choruses, you know, and bridge and outros where you combine them both. Up here, too, we have the Roland Octopad, same as Wally's, the, uh, but this one's mine. <laughs> Wally has one. We play it at different times. But I also have the external pads up here, which I, I use for claps. So it's in visually, both my hands would be 
one here and my right one here. So it, it just looks good from an audience point of view. Can you can't hear it because it's, it, you can hear me hitting it. Yeah. Clap, <laughs> clap. That's what it sounds like. Clap. clap All right. Uh, like here, hit it. Clap, clap out loud. So let me see. There we go. A little delay. Oh, that one was good. <laughs> All right. But up here, uh, I have a crasher. Pete Engelhard, um instrument created way back in the 80s, I believe. But it sounds really nice with the combination of the tambourine and the crasher, which sounds like a clap, you know. And sometimes I hit it with the pad, you know, so it has just a flavorful amount of a different flavor, you know. Obviously, these are, we got bongos, LP, LP timbales, LP bongos, LP congas, you know. And let's come to the table. Now, variation. This is like, you know... Everything. I remember the first time I, I remember the first time I put the stuff up here, and then John goes, "You're not gonna play all that," and I said, "Just watch me. Whatever you don't play, I'm taking off the damn table." So stuff has been removed, just to let you know. But like, just obviously some nice triangles, uh, Ellen Abel triangles. Um, this is one of my favorite instruments. Um, nice little vibe when it doesn't bounce off of things. So, yeah, you know, it totally looks like a slinky. This is one of my favorite too. Check this one out. You know. I have no idea. It's called a. It's called a. That's what it's called a. And bells, you know, shakers, you know, the, this this toy I picked up in Japan. It's a toy, Amazing. you know. Lost the handle, but Beautiful. we'll figure so it out. Feel, uh, whatever the music you're feeling at the time, you're just you pick up. No, no, no. There's specific stuff. There's specific times, okay. you know, like on the ballads. I'm gonna use more of a, you know, like color my world when yeah. before Wally comes in. Yeah. You know, the piano part happens, dun, 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 you know, little effects like that. Uh, shakers, of course, specific parts happen in songs where the shakers locks in with Wally, you know, like we're grooving hard. I just added the talking drum and one, uh, the top of what song? What song is it? The uh, Searching. Searching. So it's on the top section of it where you're just playing a little bit of colors with it. Uh, the Shekere is always a crowd pleaser. And yeah, I mean, that's why you got to get up here and hold the mic if you can. Yeah, the talking drum is, is uh, so here's a element of the talking drum. And then I just added this new one the other night, a brand new instrument called a ice bucket. <laughs> so. Literally, um, $10 ice bucket. Is that yeah. for the bucket of fish, Phil? So the bucket of fish, took it the goom. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah, you're a funny guy. Yeah, you got a funny guy here. So yeah, so you know, we obviously we have tons of fun playing yeah. these hit after hit after hit after hit of Chicago's music, and we get to do it every night. Amazing. So that's what's it like, you wow guys, we. playing these iconic songs together? Oh, they, I mean, it's it's Great. chills. Honestly, it's chills. Yeah. From the top of the show where i hear ladies and gentlemen chicago and then i'm like uh oh you know and then we we have a blast playing the drum solo and we try to surprise each other sometimes so talk about the drum solo between you guys well it was pretty much something that wally came up with and then i just learned it it literally learned it on the spot learned it on video that he showed me and and but, but then we turned it into something more of a teamwork type thing you know um that, that, and little things sometimes happen that we don't even know it's going to happen, which is even, it's cool when that happens, you know, because you don't want to be just stuck doing the, uh, the here comes this part. Yes. No, we, we, we purposely try to change it. Like one night, Wally was playing the fill, and then I do the response, and then he totally paused, and then he played the fill, which I thought was so funny. It's like we looked at each other. It makes it an odd time. And it, yeah, it, it turned it, it turned into a 5-4 instead of a 4-4 or something. But yeah, I mean, it's just a blast. It's a blast and it's a workout, man. Yeah. Is that part it's a workout. Of what you played at the beginning? Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, that was something no, that different. Was just improvised. Yeah, you'll see later if you're watching the show. Yes. You people, yeah. you'll right. see what's going on. Is it, <laughs> you people. Is it possible to get a little taste of the solo? Yeah, we could. Not sure. the whole thing, of course, but sure. no. yeah, we can give you a, a hair of it. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to. No pressure. Yeah, yeah I can We're actually. Just live. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can. Somebody's got to hold the mic. So. Yeah, I'll hold the mic. Why don't you come over here and hold the mic? Yeah. Huh? You. <laughs> no. I'll hold so. the mic and find my way down here, and you can, then. You can do it from behind. Yes, exactly. That way you'll get a different view from the right. Front. So maybe totally. after, the, after the first section, you want to do like from the trading force? Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, we can even start it from the, right on the break. Boom, 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 boom. We can start it from there. Okay. Right into the fourth. 
We are live with Walfredo Reyes Jr. and Ray Islas in Portland, Maine at the Cross Insurance Arena. Like yeah, whatever you guys want to play, we are honored to hear you play. Yeah, there's much more, I'm sure. That is incredible. Thank you, guys. We'll take a quick break, and we're going to be back talking with Wally and Ray about being on tour with Chicago. Stay tuned, guys. All right.